Namaste, kings and queens. Thank you so much for gracing my channel. Your presence is such a present, so it's only right that I reciprocate you with the gift of guided messages. I'm sending you all peace, healing, love, and prosperity, also health and wealth. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell, of course, so you're notified every time I upload a beautiful reading for you all. So this is going to be um, an energy check-in for the collective, all right, see what's going on with your energy and see what's going on with your person's energy and see what the Holy Spirit needs you to know, all right, all right, so we have the world card and we have the eight of wands. So there is going to be some communication coming in in regards to a completion, all right? It could be in regards to maybe getting a new job, all right? Starting something new, all right? I'm also seeing like a new hire. Um, some of you guys may be frustrated with this. I get an energy of you liking to work alone, all right? Uh, but I do see a, a earth sign coming into the picture to assist you. Could even be a cancer. I'm also seeing a new vehicle being purchased here. All right. Some of you guys will be getting a new vehicle. And then we have the king of pentacles. So we have the king and queen of pentacles. And then we have the chariot and the judgment. The chariot and the judgment in between the king and queen of pentacles. So there is something that. There is something you're required to accomplish. There is something that you're required to move towards. There is something that you're required required to tackle. I am seeing here that there could be a relationship or a marriage currently under judgment here, but I see you guys working together as a teammate to get through this, all right, with the nine of wands here and the eight of pentacles, all right, you guys are choosing to be a team in regards to this. We have justice here at the bottom of the deck, so this could definitely be a marriage here that's under scrutiny. Hmm. I feel like there's going to be a lot of messages coming in to regards um, in regards to rumors. All right. About your your relationship or about your your union. What's the judgment here? Why is judgment here? Ace of Wands and the Will of Fortune. With the nine of cups here. So there is some type of wish fulfillment that has come through in regards to um, in regards to you or your partner tapping into your gifts, tapping into your passion. All right. There is some money that has come in. All right. I feel like either you or your partner has a good fortune, good luck on your side, and it's due to your tenacious energy. There's 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 okay so what i'm getting is there is people who are judging um how you and your person have come up all right they're they're not understanding why you are or how you are where you are how you got there okay you put in the work you did what you had to do you completed cycles all right, you took heed to the messages that were coming in. All right, you fought your way through, met your divine partner here. I'm also, okay, mm. what's the chariot? Somebody's gonna try to come and put a child on you or, or your partner. I'm getting a divine masculine. Somebody's gonna try to claim they um, have a child by you and may try to get some um, child support from you. Okay, you know, it definitely get a DNA test first. Yeah, we have the tower, we have the four of wands, and then we have the chariot again.
So I feel like this is going to cause a tower moment. It could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini trying to come in and cause a tower moment between you and your, your person. All right. Um, this person is trying to come up on your come up, trying to come up on. Mm, I'm getting a very strong energy in regards to a masculine. There's a masculine here who may have stepped outside of the connection um, with the cancer. I'm getting a cancer energy very strong. I'm also getting uh, Aries or Scorpio. This person thought that you were going to, or this masculine was going to really commit and settle down with them. Yeah. And they were putting in the work. We have the Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. All right. I do feel like this masculine did sell them a dream. All right. Three of Cups fell. This could transpire during a celebration, all right, during um, some type of um, engagement. What's this eight of, uh, eight of swords or eight of wands? I'm sorry. What is this information coming in? I'm seeing te text messages, emails, DMs, all kind of shit coming through trying to expose this person. Yeah, we have the king of cups in reverse. I feel like um, at one point, yeah, we have the six of wands in the struggle position. At one point, you and your masculine, okay, may have gone through some ups and downs, all right? And, you know, not I'm not uh, condoning this, but your person, the masculine could have stepped out, had a one night stand, uh, created a connection with someone, uh, but they were in the reverse, okay? So they weren't even emotionally available for this person. All right. They were mentally unstable. This actually just came out in the last reading. Um, but with the six of wands and the struggle position, I feel like all along they knew that this wasn't going to go any further than sex. Um, however, the other individual, the other party really seen uh, a connection, really thought that they were going to be with this person. Yeah, we have the king of wands and the, the, the knight of pentacles in reverse. Your person could have very well cut this person off, all right? As soon as the passion start really burning between the two, um, you and your person may have reunited, reconciled, came back together, uh, maybe even agreed on some type of counseling here. Um, the three of cups keep falling. Page of cups. Definitely could be a baby involved. What's the nine of wands? I'm also getting a baby shower. Yep, see, there go that temperance, that reconciliation. So I feel like you and your person decided to reconcile and come back together. Um, but this third party, oh, this third party is still in the mix. Three of Pentacles, three of Cups. All right. They were looking to your person as somebody they were going to be stable with. And they thought that this person, your person, was divinely sent to them. No, no, no. No, no, no. Let me see here. Let me get the energy on this third party. Let me get the energy on this third party. Holy Divine Spirit, please provide me energy in regards to this third party, please. This mistress, what's going on here? This third party. Who is this? Who is this third party? Could be a Libra. Who is this third party? Somebody. Mm. Somebody from the past. Somebody from the past who definitely stirred up some confusion, all right? They caught your person in a vulnerable energy, in a vulnerable state, and took advantage. Um, I feel like they took advantage of your person's finances as well. Um, I feel like with the Nine of Swords in reverse, 
this person's guard was down. I do feel like they caught your person in a drunken stupor as well. Yeah, there's the five of cups with the queen of wands. Yeah, this person, this third party enjoys being the other woman. They enjoy um, capitalizing off of married men here. All right. Could be a fire sign. Aries Leo Sagittarius. All right. Yep. <clears throat> it's somebody from their past. It's the energy I got. Temperance could be a Sagittarius here. All right, I am seeing that your person could have indulged in a third party situation with this individual. However, it left them feeling even more sad and even more confused than they were when they went through the separation with you. We have the magician could be a Libra, I'm sorry, a um, Virgo or Gemini with the will of fortune. All right. This person, your person, really tried to manifest um, some type of temporary fulfillment. And that's exactly what it was. It was temporary for your person, but for this queen of wands, like, no, they were out for blood. They were out for money. They looked at your person as an opportunist here. Three of Cups. Will of Fortune came back out. So I feel like they they started off like having a good time, having fun, going out, spending money, shopping. Your this person enjoys spending your your significant other's money. All right. I'm also getting the energy of your person definitely did a lot for this third party. I'm talking about paying bills, car notes, rent. All right, we have a King of Wands in the Death card. So, yeah, your person definitely ended this. I do feel like uh, they caught wind of this person's actions. I also do feel like they found out that that person also had a person. So it's like, even if they were sleeping around, your person realized, like, when I sleep with you, I'm sleeping with him. And they realize that you're their queen of cups and they want to go back to someone who's compassionate, who's loving, who's caring. All right. Yeah, they blocked this third party. So this third party could be definitely trying to get in, but they ended it for sure. They did. We have prideful and we have well off, big money, greedy, shallow, cocky entrepreneur materialistic all right i do feel like your person is well off your person is the one who's well off they came across a third party or a mistress who was very greedy very shallow all right but they enjoyed your person's cockiness and they enjoyed your person uh making money for themselves being an entrepreneur all right the third party was very materialistic and they seen money signs when they seen your person all right, for a while, your person was very prideful in regards to telling you what happened. I feel like they're going to uh, reveal this to you. We have elder abuse, physical, torturing, stealing. I definitely get the energy of this third party stealing from the masculine, like while they were asleep or something like that. All right, and I do feel like your person is an older masculine. This third party knew what they were doing. Yep, depressed, crying a lot, drugs, alcohol, regret, sadness. All right, they took advantage of your person being um, depressed and vulnerable. Like I said, suicidal thoughts. Um, and then we have, I love you. They love you. Klepto, stop playing. This third party, and then we have toxicity. This third party was toxic as fuck. Fuck. And they were a klepto, a thief, very clever, a crook, very sneaky. All right. They were toxic. They abused a lot of drugs and alcohol. All right. Cheating. Like I said, this this third party had a, a had a man. They had somebody. They were cheating on that person with your person. All right. And then we have gossip. So what I got earlier with the first spread, like when I said somebody is after your connection, Somebody is out to spread um, negativity and gossip on you and your partner. It's very well this third party. Okay? Be aware. 
let me get this card that fell because last time I didn't get the card and it resonated with what I, with what I said. Um, okay, we have reminiscing. So if you and your person are still in separation for, for whatever reason, they are reminiscing about you. They are thinking about you. They miss you and they love you. So they they may, they very well may be coming back, back very apologetic and realizing what this third party brought to the table. All right. And you're you're their queen of cups. All right. So that's what I have collective. I hope it helps. I hope it resonates. Like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. I love you. Ashe.